Hello, hello all. The stream is now properly starting. Okay. I'm pausing the music temporarily. I'm going to restart it. I will remember this time. I'm going to restart it. Moment. I want to make a quick announcement. I'm going to be moving the stream t time back by 30 minutes, which was the time that I originally had, like a long time ago. So it will be 2.30 PST, 5.30 EST from now on. And I'm going to try that time out. We might move it back another 30 minutes later, but for now, it seems like a lot of uh, my viewership picks up around 7 p.m. So, or not 7 p.m. Uh, what the fuck's the time? 5.30 p.m. So, I think I'm going to go for that. Okay, what has happened since? Uh... Uh, I was doing some random maps. Throw some of this crap away. So a little preview of what I have. So I went and I bought a whole ton of Ramico tattoos. And those will be getting gambled. But I'll explain. Uh, I'll explain how that's going to work later. And what we're doing on that. We'll be catching up from what we did last stream. And I think it's going to go pretty well. Actually, I'll, I'll explain what's going on with that now. Uh, we won't do it yet, but uh, basically, what we learned last stream... ...is... I does like to do have to be right there. It'd be like not right there, maybe. Sure. I mean, that's not the best spot to ever put anything, but I'll put it there for a second. Yeah. Okay, that'll work. So, what we were trying last stream was we were testing a concept where you can put three tattoos into a vendor, and you'll get three tattoos out of the vendor. So, we learned a few things when we were doing our testing last time, on Tuesday stream. When you vendor a tattoo, it's not the same as vendoring a catalyst. I will get a Tukahoma tattoo from this one, a random one, or I will get a red tattoo, random one. It either goes with the name of the, the god that it represents, or it goes with the color of the tattoo. So there's, a, there's several Tukahama tattoos. So this will either turn red or say Tukahama. And it turned into a Tukahama warrior. Let's try Tukahama Shame and Tukahama Warrior. And we got two Tukahama Brawlers. If there is a Tukahama of a different color, so if there's a green or a blue one, so Dex or Int, then it can still turn into that if it has the same namesake. But it will not change color to, let's say, a Ramako, because Ramako is neither green nor is it following the same naming convention. Okay, so what we've learned is that Ramako has five green tattoos. Ramako Archer and Ramako Scout being two of them. These are the two cheapest versions, and I bought them for one chaos apiece. I have spent, if I bring up my gambling information... Boo -boo. 
I spent 330C on Ramico tattoos here. So that's all of these tattoos here. So Sniper, Archer, and Scout aren't worth anything. They're all basic ones. Then there are two others. There are there's the Ramico Fleetfoot, which comes in at about 5C a piece. Double check that, yep. Four or five C a piece. I'll set it to right now. I'll just do eight for two. Why not? So the uh so those were the three cheap ones, and then Fleetfoot is the is the moderate one. Moderate expense. And then the best one is the Ramico. I've already forgotten it. Lives the Remico Shaman, which sits around 40 chaos a piece. So we are going to pick. We've picked up Ramicos, so they will turn into one of the other four Ramicos when we gamble them. But we have a quarter of a chance of getting a super valuable tattoo, and we have a 50% chance of getting a better tattoo. Is the idea. And if they turn into Fleetfoots, then I have spent three chaos to get a four chaos tattoo, which is a profit. If they turn it into the other ones, they that is where our bulk of our money will come from. <clears throat> so I'm going to see when we gamble 330 of these tattoos, what is going to happen. We are not going to do that yet. We are going to hold off on that and start it later. But the idea is that when we gamble Ramicos, we will either get a Ramico or we'll get another green. And if we get another type of green, then we can turn those greens theoretically back into Ramicos, or they could turn to something different, depending on whether we get lucky. So that's the idea with this gamble, and we are going to be going ahead with that fairly soon. Also, I've been wondering is if you can gamble, not gamble, but like, uh... Well, I guess gamble diamonds or not. No, you can't. Also, I would never gamble these because these are half a div apiece. These are the actually expensive, expensive, expensive omens I have. Okay, so. I dropped a little bit of money, but I mean, that's not to be, that's not too surprising. We are going to be working on getting some money today, as well as we are going to be doing some tier 17s for practice. As you can see on our list up there, we so far have gotten two of the tier 17s done, of like the non Valdo ones. So we have finished Abomination last time, and from a previous time, we'd finished Citadel. Right, really. I don't. Oh, I do actually have two of these. The nameless seer ones can be pretty valuable. So people like to try them out. Anyways, we're gonna be going for fortress, sanctuary, and ziggurat coming up soon. We're gonna see how those end up going. We want to eventually be finish all five of the year 17s and get completion on them. That is that is my goal by the end of the league. My long term thing, I'm probably going to need to buff up my build a little bit more first. But for now, this is where I'm at. The main the main big buffs that I can get for my build are getting my last two skill points, which is what the money is for that we're gonna start going for. So we are going hunt down Harbingers, just in some simple tier seventeen or simple tier sixteens. 
I'd use tier 17s, but they're hard to... They're expensive. I don't know if the Regency... That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do six Harbingers. Have Harbingers replaced by powerful Harbinger bosses and have rarer types of Harbingers spawn. And would absolutely be able to see that if I remove the to-do list. Totally going to show that now. <laughs> A want how many? Oh man. <laughs> okay. This is why I try to sell them in bulk because I don't really want to trade single things. Because stopping what I'm doing for three chaos isn't really worth it when I can run a map and get that pretty like seconds. <laughs> Do I actually even need Death Dance? Eh, whatever. I have a bunch of them. I might as well use them. Okay. So we are going to use... We're going to have nine additional Harbingers. We're going to have Harbinger Boss and Rare Harbinger Scarabs. Before we do that, because I totally forgot about that, uh, I was hoping to make another passive tree, actually. That included Harbingers. Fortunately, I am out of passive tree. I could just run the Scarab, Scarab tree if I wanted. <laughs> I don't know if that's a really good plan, though. It's hard, because I don't really want to get rid of my conversion tree. Because the conversion tree is really, really good for this. Actually, the conversion tree doesn't really spawn rogue exiles on its own. It just buffs them. So I could totally go with... This for my tier 17s and be safe. Or I could just move things around in my main passive tree. Stop, stop, like, <laughs> stop thinking about this. It's always such a hard question, because, like, I want to have my cake and eat it too, but unfortunately, my cake is expensive. And my cake is fine. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, I'll, I'm just going to repurpose my conversion tree for my tier 17s. Or I'm going to use my conversion tree for my tier 17. I'm going to. I'm just going to empty my 17. Okay, so I'm not going to have a ton of scarabs. That's not... Oh, I could actually... That way. <laughs> I'm going to think of what I should remove. I... 
pull most of that out. And I will use that to Harbinger. Okay, so there's only three Harbinger things. In that case, I'll take the additional Harbinger, the 10 Harbinger. Take that one. Giving us a chance at a har powerful Harbinger boss. Here are the Essence ones. Don't need that to reach the circle. What's the most efficient way to get up? One, two, three. Okay, don't. Way I go. Uh, I feel like I'll have more options go. Cool, and I will take that one last Harbinger note that I can. That off. Fuck. As Operatives or comprehensive is more, worth more than operatives. Hmm. Hmm. No. Uh, okay. I'm going to grab more small caches and just go with that. Okay, so now we actually have Harbinger. I'm going to see how much I can farm out of this. So we're going to have 10 Harbingers by default. See how that goes. Okay. Access. I care about most of it. Yeah, no, that's fine. Okay, so we're going to be starting with some warm-up stuff. And we are going to get into the tier 17s in a little bit. I haven't played Path yet today, though, so I want to make sure that I'm at full charge. I also want the chance to make money. Your 17s only make money if you complete them. And if I lose them, then I will not make money. And I often lose them. Because I am still practicing. And I don't like spending money on practicing. But if my goal is to make money, it doesn't exactly achieve it, now does it? Gosh, fluffin' darn it. I need to be more careful. Those Harbingers are actually kind of dangerous when they're with their boss. But they're not like normal Harbingers, so I need to keep that in mind and actually be careful. Also, I can't damage them anyways, so I really need to take out their... Little friends. Yeah, sure. Not bad. What am I running from my loot filter? Oh, that's why. Change my loot filter a bit. See a little bit more stuff now. Okay, gem cutters. 
Sure, GCP is worth like two, three quarters of a uh, house, anyways. A good pickup. The damage is chaos is okay. A little bit scary, but chaos is uh, what they actually the thing that I have the most resistance against, surprisingly. You wouldn't think that to be true, but it is, for whatever reason. Now I should probably grab the... Oh, I thought... Oh, the... They drop minor shrines, but the shrines decay so quickly that it's really easy to just, if you walk away from it, to forget it's there, and then it just despawns. Okay. Bit busy. Come on. Come on. I don't actually know how the boss harbingers work. Do they just keep the baby harbingers around them until they go down? I assume that's how it works. Yep. Like it. Oh, perfect. They're around a corner. I can actually work with that. Pretty well. I just hope the harbingers don't come around the corner. Then I'm gonna have a problem. Well, not necessarily, but they hit kind of hard. So I am trying to be somewhat careful. Penetrable Shrine. Ah. They're, like, rolling ma- Their blue rolling magma thing is really annoying. I can only suppress spell damage, not dodge it. What hurts. Okay, let's away from that. There we go. I usually don't go for Harbingers because they're often not worth it, I find. But with having the, uh, with all the Atlas passives on them, they seem to be a little bit better. Atlas passives plus Scarabs. And I have a bunch of Harbinger Scarabs, so I might as well just use them up. Might as well just use them up, and I run out, I run out, and then I just repurpose my tree again. Ancient and an elephant. Ow. No fair! You're invulnerable! Armagers are more friendly when they're invulnerable, but not actually attacking you directly, because they can't. All the baby ones have a really annoying attack. Stop magmaing me! Please stop! Nope. Far too much burning around. I need to switch the burning ground passive. Ooh, Quant! Quant is very good. Okay, I need... Oh my god, I let it trigger my death dancing because I was... I was holding off on using my flask. Uh...
Right, I'm just gonna be a, more, a bit more reckless here, and if I die, I will just go back and change my passives. My passives. I'll go back and change my Pantheon. Wow, we're getting a lot of altars today. Holy shit. Some maps I don't get any altars, and this map, I would think that's our fifth. A lot of extra quant. A lot of extra quant. I've been liking having the Hydrosphere. I replaced my Frost Shield and Phase Run with it. My Phase Run only just like gives me a random boost of speed. It's not like it's not actually all that valuable. And my Frost Shield doesn't really work all that well because it mainly is meant to synergize with having Energy Shield, and my Energy Shield's piss poor. I have like 400 energy shield, and it needs to be able to drain energy shield to make itself stronger. If it can't do that, then it's not going to function right, and it's kind of just been functioning with like on like a really weak side, and it's been doing something, but it's not enough to justify it, honestly. Uh, well, it's not incredibly useful, it the uh, Hydrosphere does give Drenched as well, so that makes it take more cold and lightning damage if I have any extra cold and lightning damage, which is nice. It If I freeze, chill, or shock, or sap, the or brittle, the, um, the orb itself, because you can damage the orb, uh, that it will reflect those status conditions onto enemies, which is useful. And also it has Culling Strike on it, which gives finally gives me an automatic Culling Strike, because I haven't had that for a while. Anything else that I just happen to miss? I don't care. Don't care? Okay. Okay. Take Aberath for a moment. There's a lot of Xart stuff dropped burning ground anyways, so I have anti that. Okay, annulments are 10 C a P. Okay, so we got 20 C there, 6 in Chaos, 5 in Regals, 6 in Vince, so about 40. I say not actually doing math in my head. Oh, and we also got a comp comprehensive scouting report. Go anywhere between 15C and 40, depending on when you're selling it. They're they're really weird. Like, what they go. Scouring. Oh, that's kind of a... Up. Whatever. Yeah, we're just going to keep making a little bit of money. Actually, I think I could use some scouring, so this is kind of convenient. Out. Out. Oh, report on our test that we did a couple streams ago, actually. That is finally starting to show... The fruits of its labor. Uh, what we did is we changed up. So I use my uh, a side mouse button for my po my health flask. And what I have done is I changed it so that now that button, instead of activating my health flask, activates a macro. And that macro 
is a completely legal macro before anyone says anything uh where it hits the steam screenshot key and then my health my health potion whenever i hit the button and it only sends one server side action uh to the path of xl servers which is considered an acceptable macro by uh ggg Uh, but the benefit of this is, is that it can create some interesting action shots, because, like, every time I hit my, my health potion, I'm getting a screenshot. And it hasn't actually built up in the, the amount that you would have would expect, or at least not I expected. It's honestly not been that bad. And some of the shots that I've been getting have actually been, like, really, really good. Like, most of it's trash, as you expect, like... The same, it's the same thing with, like, photography. Most of the photos you take are trash, and then a few of them are amazing. Okay, I'll take some chaos damage on flask use. Want sure. Ooh, effective... Corpses in this column. That is valuable. That and fracture tend to be valuable. Fracture and explicit. But yeah, the uh, screenshot thing has actually been yielding some really nice dividends, and it hasn't really been causing me any issues. I just take my screenshots every once in a while in my Steam folder and chuck them into uh, another area of my hard drive that has more space. And it works just fine. I should see about uh, showing off some of the uh, screenshots that we've gotten just like in today's stream, actually. Well, actually, I'm not sure if anyone actually cares about that besides me, but I really like it. It also means that I have... Upwards of 40 different screenshots that I can use to choose from for a for a thumbnail for this uh, for like this stream VOD. Because usually when it when it picks a thumbnail for the VOD, it's like it's always my intro screen. Like, no, I don't want that. I never want that. That is not interesting or useful. some reason like whenever it looks at my vods it's like i'm it looks at the first 20 seconds of the vod and is just not useful past that point or like maybe the first 2 minutes of the vod when it picks its screenshots and that's absolutely not useful But I want you to actually be able to see what's happening in the VOD before you click on it. Because that's good usage. I could it can also help me make like some cool sc action screenshots for uh the for the various videos that I put out on the highlight channel as well. That's been going well. I did not actually expect it to be as good as it is at what it does but it's really awesome because sometimes i will i will actually get to see how much health i had because it takes the picture first before it uses the uh, health potion so i'll get to see how much health i had when i use the potion and sometimes it's like oh i had literally two health it's like wow that was way closer than i thought it was <laughs> Because, like, I don't actually look at my health when I'm when I'm using my potion. I just see a uh, empty gap in my health bar. And then I hit the button because I see an empty gap. Right there. 
Like, I'm not actually looking at how much health I have. I'm just watching for a gap, and then I immediately hit it. So, to an extent, I don't necessarily need to worry too much if there's, like, just a, if I'm down a little bit of health. Because I have 10% regen. 10% of my health regen or regenerated as life per second. Because I'm a saboteur. Saboteur gets that benefit. I have been wondering about changing my flasks, though, to add some more life regen to it, because you can get special life regen crafts for your flasks, for your utility flask specifically. Because uh, right now I'm running damage taken as hits as leech as life. But honestly, I don't feel like that does anything. Like, I haven't noticed any change, really, in my survivability since adding that. So, let's try this. Uh, I have all five five uh, flask crafts that you can get from unveiling Cinder Swallow flasks. So either I could uh, make myself stun immune because I have uh ninety four percent increased effect. So that would mean that I would be at. Hmm, I'm trying to think. I think that would put me at, like, 97% chance to avoid stun. So I could either pick that, or I could pick just life regen. And I'm probably just going to pick life regen for now, because 3% of life regenerated per second times 1.94... Brings us up to 5.8 and a half, or wait, no, 5.85% life regen a second, so almost 6% of life regenerated a second. And with the uh, the benefits from Saboteur, that brings us up to 16% of life regenerated, which is royal sexy. Oh, Orbs of Regret, nice. Why does it have to be- oh god, why Why am I getting so, so many minus modifier things? Oh, I guess I can put uh, it on this thing, these are all normal pack density. Let's spell suppression of the low one, yep, that seems- Which is the most dangerous. I'll swap those. Okay. We will be moving on to tier 17 in a little bit. I like to do a bit of warm up first. Just to make sure that I'm actually. I don't know, warmed up. I like I was trying to think of a better word, but no. Especially because I need to be able to play at a pretty high level to do tier 17s. Or at least to to me it is a high level. Some people it might not be, but to me it is. I guess to most people it would be an extremely high level, considering most people don't finish the campaign. And this is... Dev 17 levels above the campaign? Oh, 
Oh, look at that sexy health regen. Even when I'm just, like, tanking a shit ton of spells. Oh, this they have so many ball lightnings, too. Oh god, the plus projectiles are awful. Please stop. Please stop projectiling me. Fucking hell. Ew, transmutation shards. So a while ago, or I guess for people who aren't have been playing Path of Exile for a long time, you wouldn't know. Uh, but a few, God, I guess it's a few years ago now, they swapped the value of divine orbs and exalted orbs. So we measure things in divines now. Uh, before we used to measure everything in exalts. Exact same, exact same price basically. It's just it was a different thing, and. That doesn't seem like the biggest difference, necessarily, and it wasn't necessarily a really big difference. But when they did the swap, they nerfed the hell out of uh, Carpenters, specifically. Because Exalts, you can get shards of them. And that's what Harbingers drop, they drop shards. So, like, th these Harbingers drop a ton of, like, Horizon shards here. And with Exalts, you can pick up Exalt Shards. But with Divines, you can't pick up Divine Shards. There's no Divine Shards in the game. Which that means... You do not get any any Divines via Harbingers. It's just not possible. You can still get Exalts, but they're not worth what they used to be. Which is very unfortunate, because it's mean that they are just, they're just that much weaker than before. Because they weren't given any sort of anything to compensate that. Okay. Oh. Is one of them slipstreaming? Oh my gosh, one of them has a slipstream. Oh, it's the selfish slipstream, too. Uh, slipstream is an effect that Harbingers can get where they can increase the action speed of things around them. Uh, which is like attack speed, except for its attack speed, cast speed, movement speed, and it's better than all of them, because it's a strong, just a stronger effect. Because it actually, because action speed literally speeds up an animation rather than making a skill faster. And speeding up the animations makes them way stronger for whatever reason. Uh, but there's two types of slipstreams. One, you can get a Harbinger that will follow you around and give you a slipstream, which will increase your uh, your action speed, as well as the action speed of anything else in the radius, including enemies, which is the basic slipstream. And then there's the slipstream that that Harbinger was using, which is the selfish one, uh, which is a much more expensive item that you can get, and you can have a Harbinger follow you around and only buff your allies. Which is just, I mean, it's that straight up better than the other option. The only reason to go with the other option is that it's one fiftieth of the price. Really easy to get the uh, the normal slipstream. It's much much harder to get uh, the other one. I don't remember what the baby belts is called. It's the uh, it's the basic belts that upgrades the Torrent's Reclamation. The Torrent's Reclamation is the expensive one. I know that because I would never use the basic one, so I don't re memorize the name. I've just memorized Torrent's because that's the one that I use if I use it. Oh, annulments! Awesome, annulments are actually worth something. 
like most of the other getting. I feel like Exalt shards are really rare, though, which is... I don't understand why Exalt shards are so rare now, because, like, I feel like they haven't adjusted that ever since making the Divine to, uh, Divine and Exalt swap in price and, like, what they do. They swap the functions, so... The fact that it's just so rare to get a much, much, much cheaper item is really weird. Lori's Lantern. Wait, not Lori's Lantern. Is it Lori's Lantern? Oh, it is Lori's Lantern, okay. Lori's Lanterns are really, really good. Ring to have. It has a bunch of stuff if you're a build that works only on low life. It means that uh, enemies that hit you are unlucky, which means that it rolls their damage twice and it gives, gives the lower damage to you. It also gives you extra resist chaos res, which is usually a challenge for people, and movement speed when you're on low life. It's not useful at all if you're a uh, full life build, but for a low life build, it's very good. Nope. <laughs> I was trying to tank it, but that's that's a lot of damage. Ow. I'm surprised I have so many health flask charges. I would would have thought that my health flask would have given out by this point because I took off I took off the uh, Pantheon buff that regenerates them. But honestly, they I seem to have enough last charges coming in. I even took the part out of the original build that makes it so that you get uh flash charges when you deal a critical strike, because that is not very useful when you're using a mage blood. Actually, why am I leveling up my... Why am I leveling my Hydrosphere? I shouldn't be leveling my Hydrosphere at all. I ideally should have a... I should have a level 1... Uh, I should have a 120. So, level 1, quality 20. Or, if I can, a quality 22 uh, Hydrosphere. Because... The quality gives pulse frequency, so that's how often it hits, which means that it will cull things faster. So, which is ideal for me. It'll also slow things and shock them and whatever faster too, if it has when it can do that. Yay, lots of annulments. Oh shoot, I didn't check what that divination card was that I got earlier. My Luke filter got really excited about it. Eef? Fury's heart. Fury's heart. That's a... I don't know how much the Fury's heart is worth. What does Zephyr's heart do? Oh, Zephyr's heart is the uh, amulet that lets you gain Soul Eater. Okay. If I remember, though, it's like a shitty Soul Eater. That's not amazing.
Also, welcome to all the new people who are on the stream. I see there's a lot more of you today. Honestly, there's been a lot of people lately that have been coming to the stream, which I could not be happier about. No, not more projectiles. Uh, I don't really need crumb. Here, I'll... Here, you have ignite. Can't be ignited, so... Uh, these don't have projectile. Not that. Cool. Oh man, that is a soul eater creature. You can always tell because they're super fast and they don't die very easily. <laughs> I'm very happy that they nerfed Soul Eater this league. The the nerfs that they picked are very, very reasonable in my opinion. It's harder to abuse it, but like I'm okay with that. Pyroclass Pyro Shock. Class Shock? Pyroshock Clasp. Okay. I don't remember. Uh, no meteors, please. Quant, it's usually better to pick Quant, but I don't... I always get hit by the fucking meteors, and I don't want to get hit by the meteors. <laughs> I just don't want to deal with that. Honestly, since we added that extra 6% life regen, this has been so much easier. Like, I'm still, I'm still getting challenged by some of this stuff, but, like, it's not bad. It's not as challenging as it was before. Another Soul Eater. Where are your creatures? Friends? Okay. Operatives. So I think today we're probably going to be working on Fortress for our tiers. Fortress is fairly expensive though, so I'm not going to have too many of them for a little while. Just because I have, still haven't recovered from the amount of money I spent on getting a Mage Blood. Be interesting to see how our gamble works, though. I mean, that might that might be a nice infusion of currency soon, so we'll see. Has anyone here tried gambling with tattoos before? Out of curiosity, I'm not sure if we even have anyone here right now who's who actively plays Path. I don't recognize that staff. What staff is that? Hegemony's era. I don't recognize that staff at all. Cool. We're going in my collection. Yeah, okay, this will be our last warm up map. Ooh, scarabs. I like scarabs. I don't like Incursion Scarabs, though. 
Now that's something we need to do. We should gamble scarabs. Because I have a lot of fucking random scarabs that, that I can absolutely gamble and just get rid of. Because I'm never going to use them. So what reason is there to leave them in my bank? They're also not worth taking the time to sell, so... Anyone who... I mean, anyone who plays a notable amount already has, like, a ton of these scarabs, so it's not going to help anyone to get them. And they're not really something worth buying to gamble either, even though I would be fine just gambling them, just because there's so many scarabs out there that the chance that you actually get something valuable is low, but it's still better than stuff that's just sitting in my bank doing nothing. How did you get past me? Oh, you're getting spawned by a Harbinger, that's okay. I'm wondering how there was still stuff in the starting area. I have a little area over here. About it. Regrets. I have regrets, but I don't regret them. Oh boy, we got a total of 5% XP. Wow. Okay. How many fortress maps do we have? Start with that. We have one fortress map. Let's see. I don't want drowning orbs. I can't do spell suppress like a map high spell suppression. I can't do high curse or high or reduction. I can't do reduced critical damage. Impale. Uh, the 50% the less area effects sucks, but I could totally do it. Yeah, I can do that. Okay. So we're going to start working on Fortress now. Let's just go with this map as is. Oh, not that. You know, I might just go with this map as is. I have a bunch of Harbingers. Actually, hold on. I need Scarab of Stability. I think I want the Regency, because it's scary. Okay, I'm going to go with this. <gasps> oh, dropped items to rarity or convert to divination cards. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay, um, I am out of anarchy embers. Fuck! Hold on, I have to. I have to buy one. Uh, I have to buy one. I'll flame ember of anarchy. Plus, we could get a lot of div cards from this. Really nice. Loop. Loop. We're all the same person. Oh, that's death. That's a price fixer. Oh, not a price fixer. Thirteen C a piece. They have. Eight, I think. Seven. Okay. Oh, please. Oh, no. 
Okay. Well, looks like we are going to be having a very interesting Tier 17. Didn't really expect to have... I didn't really expect to have a Divination Conversion one. That's a very... interesting thing. Keep boosting carbon dots. Okay, so this is going to be Fortress with uh, items drop with rarity or convert to divination cards. I've selected my Exiles Atlas Passive Tree, and that should be good. Oh, I need to replace the or I get by them. Action. So fight golems are kind of scary for me, but I'm just gonna be I'm just gonna be careful. That uh, there's not really much other option. Okay. Divination card conversion on Tier 17 Fortress. That is not at all what I expected to be doing at this moment, but here we go. Oh, I've never been to Fortress, apparently. Oh god, what is that? What is that? And I don't like it. Exploding orbs, ugh. Grand Ember. Okay, that's a nice bowl. What do we have to be worried about on this map? Um, Monsters bases can impale and less AoE is basically the only things that actually matter to us. Oh my gosh, this is... I think this is one of the heist... I think this is one of the, um... This is, like, has a bunch of the heist monsters. Which I think means that we might be getting, like, uber heist bosses. I have no idea what Fortress is. If you do know what the boss is, please don't tell me yet. Because I'd ideally like to see it myself. And I will see it pretty soon, I'm sure. I'm excited. I'd love to see, like, an Uber... I would love to see an Uber Unbreakable or the Brothers. Admiral Darna. That'd be fun. Ow! Okay. Oh, fucking self I go. <laughs> Why do I put those on anything? Uh, okay. I need to... Not only adrenaline. I need a death dance. On your people, will you? Oh. Okay, maybe not. Oh, there you are. There we go. Gotta be somewhat careful. Come on. One more. There we go. Rising truck. Oh, my golems gone. Are the bad golems gone away? Oh. The next exile? I think that's the next exile. Nope, that's the demling. Ah! What was that? Fuck. Like, whatever that is.
Oh, what is... Whoa, what was that status effect? That's a new one to me. Nope! No, 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 I know you. I know you, you fucker. I know you. You're the exile that always used to kill me when I was new to this game. Oh. Someone has... I need to stop putting fucking sulfate golems on maps. It's just, it's not good for me. It's a bad idea. It is always a bad idea. It is never a good idea, and I don't know why I still do it. I was like, oh, those will be easier than tier 17 mobs. No. No, they aren't. <laughs> they still suck, because they're physical damage. And I have no physical damage reduction. That's why I'm dying. That's why I'm fucking dying. Ow. Oh, no. Can you please kill that rare from around the corner? King. There we go. Oh. They're still reaching me. Come on. Are they using cremation? Nope. Get over here, you fuck. There we go. Oh, it had adaptive resistances. Ew. Emling. Adaptive resistances means that if you hit it with a particular element, that it becomes resistant to that element. Until you hit with a different element. So if you mix up your elements, then you can, uh, def you can defeat it well, that way. But I don't mix up my elements because I am purely a fire build. So it's just, uh, okay. It opened a okay. That just opened a de a uh, abyss fissure on me and blocked me from moving. Be nice to me, please. Would like to not to die horrifically. Thank you. Ha! There's a spire here. But if you don't take out those spires from the abyss embers, when like when the abyss embers spawn them, then they will just straight up keep spawning enemies forever. Wings? I still think, like, the gem links and stuff are safer to deal with than... A lot of the shit that I'm dealing with in the tier 17s, but oh boy, do they suck! What ambush skeleton? How quaint! Stop giving that. Bad exile. Thing. Faces in the dark. Scattering reports. One second, I'm going to change my filter again. I want to see more... I want to see more of the divination cards that are dropping. Okay. 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 Too many harbingers. Too many harbingers. Things spawning behind me. Too many harbingers. Too many things behind me. Too many harbingers. 
Alright. Okay. Even got some two tone boots. Ooh, and advise. I advise you to pick up the. Ah! Retribution for my pun! No! I'm being punished! Yeah. Nope. 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 Fine. The good old boink and yoink. When you kill something and steal a shit. Oh, oh gosh, that is an exile. Be careful, I need to be careful, I need to be careful! Okay. Can I give, do I want to give the minions AoE? Sure, they can drop even more div cards! Become the div card queen. Ah. Uh-oh. 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 Nope, oh, okay. No. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> hate sulfite golems. Hate sulfite golems. Stop spawning in my maps because I put you there. I hate myself. <laughs> this is this is a self-inflicted problem, and I'm still annoyed. Stop tempting me with embers that I can use to put in my map and torment myself. Ow. 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 Oh. I'd be concerned. Yeah, I should be concerned enough to get Oh, fuck my morph is full. Fuck my morph. Oh, the patient. That would be valuable if this wasn't this league. Yeah, I should just go back to the... Yeah, I'll just go back to the... What? I don't really want to go out and brick for my stuff right now. Oh, this map is huge, though. Also, I have no idea where I am. In it's like total completion. We might be halfway there. Whoa. Going somewhere. Oh god. Die. Hello, exile. Goodbye, exile. Ow. Risk. Prophecy and polymath. <gasps> Huck. I see Huck. Bro! Wait, do I not have Huck set up for this? Oh, yes, a good, I do. Okay. Okay, I was worried that I would have to go it alone, and I don't want to go it alone. I like having Huck. I probably don't trade, but. Last. Hey. I'm gonna put aside the expensive stuff. Searching I, searching roll well.
Okay. I was like, three times four is definitely not eight. Only down a portal so far. Where the fuck did I go? Wow. That isn't a, that is a, a way. Try going this way. What, what's down here? Oh god, down there's death. Risk. Their ventures gamble hard. Eh? No. Darn you, synthesized thingies. Synth thingy. I have to say, a divination card conversion tier 17 is pretty cool. Nope. Alias. Not valuable. I'm happy to have Huck with me, though, because that's a chunk more damage. Unless I've hucked something up with his build. I do have Sylvite Intoxication on this, right? I'm not... Okay, yes, I do. So many buffs on my bar, it's very... hard to see what's going on. It's even harder when I'm dead. I going off last last buffs. Okay, that works. We'll get to gamble all these diff cards after. Glad that I already have Huck and I already have most of my self self intoxication, so that is going to help me immensely. I think it's all of this. Oh, there's a shrine over there. Okay, that's not helping me. I can just kill stuff from just outside its range. Oh, massive shrine! Yes! Oh my gosh, massive shrine and shrouded shrine. Okay. Well, shroud is useless to me. So I'm saboteur with the uh, blind passive. Besides that. Nope. Passive is great, though, because that's an extra thousand health. Rarely. Higher your health, more effective that regen is. 
our percent regen is. And I have lots of percent regen. Alter Perception and a Chaotic Disposition. Nice. Good money. Nope. Yeah, come around the corner. That's That sounds great. Just one at a time, walk up to me like it's a Bruce Lee movie, and I'll kill you. I think that's a good deal. All the villains in Bruce Lee movies seem to think so. And how could all those actors be wrong? That doesn't remotely make sense. <laughs> but let's pretend it does. Y'all can pretend for me, right? Uh, things I say make sense? Why do the Sulfite Golems feel weaker now? So am I just, like, in the groove now? Oh. Oh no! No! Those are not weaker! Nope! Okay, I need to clear out a few of these problems first, so I can actually go over there. Too much going on. Nope. Nope. Please stay around the corner. Stop trying to run around the corner, character. That's the problem with uh, isometric views. Sometimes it's very easy to click on a wall, and it's like, oh, you want me to walk around that wall? No! I want you to stand behind the wall. Nope! Okay, I'm very lucky that, that those explosive barrels did not do me. It could have been very bad there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Remember to water yourself. Humans are like plants. We need lots of water. I mean, we're mainly water. Pretty sure I've said this before, but did you know that when you feel thirsty, it means that you're already past the point of needing water and you're now into, like, your body is in desperate need. So it's actually better to drink even before you're thirsty. And if you're thirsty, you really need to drink. Water. Not, not, not alcohol. Don't drink alcohol. <laughs> While trying to get water. That's not gonna work. Oh. Nope, stop. I'm kind of... thought I wanted. Pretty good. Okay. Put a portal down there. Just need to be careful that I don't get done in. By any sulfite golems? Random exiles? Or things? That was a gem exile. Go. We're going this way. Uh, that looks like a boss room. Are there boss rooms just out in the open? Um, this might be a boss room. Okay. Yeah, because that's that's the unbreakable right there.
Oh no. I have to be careful though. I've done the Unbreakable many, 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 many times, but the problem is I always trivialize the mechanics by having a ton of damage. So I don't actually know the mechanics incredibly well. I do know the spinny though. I have to be careful of the spinny. No, oh no. Oh no, this is not good. No! Urgh! Okay. Wait, was that the boss of Fortress? Uh... Did I do that boss in one life? Maybe this is one of those maps where there's multiple bosses. That would make sense, especially considering how many heist bosses there are. Okay, so I'm gonna... And the fact that there's no arena transition also makes me think that. So I'm gonna keep going. Well, I mean, I'm gonna keep going regardless because it's a divination card map. I definitely want to keep going for that. See if there's more here. I don't hear from the spark. Do I want any of this stuff? I don't really, uh, I don't want things to score to me, but. Uh, I, mm, duplicating currency items is really worth it, especially if I get, like, a really nice draw. But what I could really use is duplicating div divination cards, seeing as getting what we're getting. From this map. Okay. Bit much. I have to say, if that was the boss of Fortress, like the one and only boss, then I'm very surprised, because that was not nearly as hard as any of the other bosses I've fought so far. Maybe it's because I do have some familiarity with the Unbreakable, but, like, it didn't really feel that hard. I mean... There was multiple stages, or there was, okay, there was two stages and three bosses to Abomination. And there was at least, like, five phases to Citadel. So, it would not make a huge amount of sense if there was just one boss. So, we're gonna have to see what's happening. Slightly confused. Going on. Oh, it's a it's a brutal shrine. I don't want them to have that. I can give them some armor. Sure, why not? Armor does nothing against me, so not like it puts me in any danger. Yeah, there's no way that that was the only boss in this place. I don't believe that for a second. Invasion rating strange for Grand Embers. I'll take that. I don't really want to deal with meteors because I'm not very good at dodging them. Especially with as much fire as there is on the screen, it just makes it very hard to see where they're going to spawn. Because, like, they're well telegraphed, it's just that it's hard for me to see them, I find. With this. No, nope. oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, hello. Walk through the wall of fire if you want to get to me. Hey, 
Back air. Down over here. Nope. I need to not walk into those things. No, 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 no. No, we don't. I'm really starting to wonder where the rest of the bosses are. Like, I'm not 100% confident in the fact that there's more bosses, but it just doesn't make sense for there not to be. Just based on the difficulty of the other other maps. Why would Fortress be so much easier than the others? It's also more expensive than the others, too. Wait a minute. Fortress could be more expensive than the others because it's easier. That's possible, too. That... Yeah, it could genuinely be just... It's an easier map than the other ones, so it's easier to complete, which means that it's a better choice to make. Or if you want to farm tier 17s, like their parent quantum stuff. Oh. That, that's the end of the map. There's no more map. That's just, that's just fortress complete. Huh. Oh, if we bring back up our agenda, our agenda, Doodless. Fortress. Yes. Okay, that just leaves Sanctuary and Ziggurat now. Happy that that was the map that it was. Huh. Now we get to open our, all of our cool stuff. I put away junk. Nope. Oh wait, that's a uh, uh, that's worse. Pack is scarcer, I don't think is worth anything. Eh, it's actually worth a little bit. Okay, so we got another patient. Just one more patient. Rose. Treasure. Alter perception. Chaotic. Two chaotic dispositions. Okay, so. Okay, so this is our the main reward for that map. So the Grand Embers are worth about fifteen apiece, I think. Yeah, they're worth about fifteen C apiece. The decaying fragments are worth about half a div apiece, and the cosmic fragments aren't worth anything. Got some saints' treasures, two chaotic dispositions. We got two of the patient, which would have been really, really nice in any other league except for this one. But unfortunately, fortunately or unfortunately, headhunters are really cheap. Uh, Wilted Rose, got a side quest, got a wrath, and got an alter perception. Wow, alter perception is actually worth a lot. 
need three of them to at I think it's actually worth 39. Whatever uh Yeah, I'll put it up for 39 and see if that goes. Okay, let's turn some stuff in. So we got most of the three faces. And got some price of protection for a purifier. Our type dispositions. Uh, oh. Phoenix. And a Vault Temple map. Always good getting more sick. More fusing. Okay. That was actually a pretty, pretty efficient map, honestly. Okay, so... We... Going to... At just sorry, I'm changing the height of. Okay, so I brought back up our. So we, right now, are going to look at our gambling. So we have a lot of. A lot of tattoos here. I'm going to grab the archers first. We're going to gamble. So the input into this for like all the green ones here and all was 330. So we need to get a few of the shamans out. The uh, valuable ones. Because otherwise, won't be doing so hot. Oh, not enough trade. Okay, let's see what we get. Okay, so we got, got, whoa, nine shamans? Whoa, those are 39C a piece. Okay. All just crappy ones. Oh, those are fleet foots. Those are 5C a piece. Sniper is not worth anything. Okay. So with 39C apiece, the Ramako Shamans are 40C apiece. 12 times 40 equals 480C just for these. So we've we're already we've already exceeded the uh, uh, our investment by thirty percent. The opposite. Yeah, okay. just the crappy one. Now we are going to. Uh, scouts and other thing. Okay. Okay, we'll gamble those ones. 
Okay, we've got a bunch more. Double checking that none of them ended up over here. Okay. Even more. Okay, so 40 times 17 is this is these two right here are 680 chaos. Effectively doubling our investment. I'm going to value the Ramico Fleet Foots at 4C a piece, so 44. Bring us up to 724C return. Minus 330C input. We have gotten. 394c profit from this. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, there. Now it's on screen. Cool. That is a very nice profit. That is three three divine profit, actually. Very sexy profit. I'll put those up there. Why not? Okay, so I'm going to start putting these out then. Gonna start them at 40 C apiece and see what people pay for them. Actually, seeing as we have as many as we do, we could probably increase the price. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna increase the price because usually being able to bulk buy in bulk is a nice privilege. So I'm gonna try 44. What happens. That being said, that turned out really, really well for us. So what this there is not a lot of room to put the uh, put the to do list up. I really need to have like I really need to make myself some sort of uh, overlay so I can have stuff like that up. In general. Okay. Well, now that that went so well, let's check what's on the market right now. Because as soon as this vid as a video comes out about this, uh, what I'm going to do, this is going to become a much less profitable method as people buy up all the stuff. Because the one thing I've noticed is no matter... How small my channel is, the videos about money making always blow up. The same thing happened with the Catalyst video last league and destroyed the Catalyst market. Oh. Uh. Okay, ten more. I mean, if I can make this much money this quickly, there's no reason not to be doing this.
Could I go up to two C apiece? Well, if I had invested 2C last time, I would have made almost nothing in profit. So, I probably shouldn't do that. I I could probably go up to 1.5C at most, and anything past that point is a bad idea, probably. Throw these in. Archer. Yep. Okay. None of those came out to me. That's fine. I don't need to get a return on everything for it to be worth. And on a sample size of 21 is... A sample size of 21 is not very good. <laughs> I'll do more of that off stream because there's not there's not like there's there's not seem to be any huge piles of them coming up. So as long as there's not huge piles of uh, of tattoos up there, it's not really worth it for me to buy them like three at a time or whatever. Just too much of a pain. Yeah, so I'll keep an eye on what's up there. now, though. Oh. Get stretch. No. <sighs> Man, I expected Fortress to take way longer than it did. It really did. Kind of leaves me hanging. I guess I'll try a different map. We should also try gambling some scarabs, because I have a lot of scarabs here, and most of them I don't use. Let's see. Okay. None of the Rogue Exile ones are used. Don't need Sulfite, and I Sulfite. I think any of the Ritual Eh, uh, not really. Some of them are worth something, but I don't really want money on them. Or I don't want to spend time on them, so... Bother. Gift card ones are worth stuff. Doubling, uh, doubling harvest ones are definitely worth worth about nine C. What did they have? They these I should put up. For. I think you can only see, I think you can only gamble three scarabs of these same type. If that's right. Okay. 
Okay, what else do we have for Scarab? Gamble a ton of them all at once. He stares Scarab of the Shadowed Crow. Love to do some Einhar stuff, but I don't know if that's in the cards for Those I like having June one. Most of the tormented spirit things are not used. Don't really buy or use. Shrine stuff, definitely good. Uh, Harbinger stuff, definitely good. Map stuff, good. Uh, Bomb box stuff is good. Expedition. Get rid of these. Valuable. I think this one actually. Nope. Not at all. I don't really intend to do. I tend to do calls. My legion. This can be. I don't know. I don't necessarily want to get rid of my abyss one. Actually, are there challenges that we need to go for for this league that I should absolutely do things for? I mean, if I want to do en enigmatic essences, I probably want to keep some of the essence. For abyssal assailants, I don't really need. I don't really need much. Magical thievery, no, it's fine. For heralding harbingers, that's I don't really need much. Rituals, I'm probably just not going to do that, honestly. I haven't liked them lately. I fell out of love with them for now. Probably won't do harvest. I don't think I need to be particular past that. Okay. Take out some of my herbs. Arrow. Breach. Breach scarabs. Give myself some extra. Yeah, I'll hold on to those friends. Light. Don't tend to. Don't tend to do those. Ethereum. I might do off. Cream. I'm not just. <laughs> Not just destroying my graphics card while trying to stream and do that. Beyond Scarabs I don't think are worth anything. Wait, actually that sounds fun. Get rid of most of my Beyond Scarabs. Flame monsters generally 8 to 12. Well. I'll get rid of some of them. I think that cleans out most of the shit that I'm just never going to use. Hunter traders? I don't think those are worth it. Okay. I'm just never going to touch those. Take some of them. They're not worth anything either. Nor are these. Okay, so we have all of these scarabs to turn. Which means... We are going to have an intermission. Because <laughs> I want to get up for a second and stretch. And 
need to make sure the puppers have water and stuff in there. Okay. We're back in a couple of minutes. Don't go anywhere. We will be continuing our Scarab Gamble when I get back. And then probably some Tier 17s. Let's see. Arb. I swear. Where? I never, I never remember to turn the music. If I pause the music for any reason, it's just fucking gone. I noticed that during the break, after two hours, that the music was... Oh, I hate... I hate that I can just not notice that. Uh, whatever. It's on now. That's the important thing. Hi again. Ah. <coughs> uh, God, didn't, wasn't able to mute in time. Oh god, I can be so good at Path of Exile, but breathing and drinking water at the same time? Nope. Water will be the death of me. <laughs> Thank you, Pyro. I'll try not to die. It is in my best interest not to. Oh, you can just pair random characters with each other. You don't have to have the same... You don't have to all be the same one, huh? Interesting. Take out a couple of... So I know... Wait, why is there so... Hold on. Why is there so many still? Okay, let's shorten the amount a little bit. Is that still too much? Okay, hold on a second. Let's do this over again, because obviously it's not working very well. Okay, I'll do this first little bit. Let's... Okay, let's start here with gambling scarabs. All the non-used... The, the crap I just do not use. Wait, there's not enough- oh my gosh. Oh, still not enough space. Oh my gosh, it's so hard to, to gamble stuff like this, because it's- uh, it fights you at every turn. That's it. I'm going to turn off the affinity here. Pump them all in time as latest test. There we go. Yeah, it'll have to be a bunch of tiny trades. Either all of these, or am I out? No, nope, I can do it. Oh, many random scarabs. Let's see what we got. Got some div card ones. Those are good. The mapping ones, those are good. 
Harbinger ones, magic pack size. Use all of those. Strong box ones. Delirium Scarab of Neuroses. Not valuable, but sounds fun. Reinforcements. Intelligence. Oh, perpetuation. Per 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 oh my gosh. I was trying to say perpetuity. Trail Scarab of My, I'm struggling with this for some reason. Perpetuation. Oh my gosh. Session. No. Barrels? Barrels are actually worth something for some reason. Anything that's cartography is usually worth something. Okay, keep the shrines one, keep the additional modifiers one. Let's drop an additional rare item with an abyss socket. Openable. Strong box is openable again. Duplicate maps. Increased unique items found, okay. Are there any other singles here I can just get rid of? I wasn't taking single ones because I thought they couldn't be done on their own, but you just need three scarabs. You don't need the specific scarabs. Didn't know that. Okay. Most of the one. Probably not going to use that many Einhar scarabs, realistically. I think I just add my entire inventory to the trade menu. That'd be nice. Uh, sure, I'll take these. Okay. Oh. The Scarabs. Ethereum Scarab. Oh. Here to our monsters. Magic Pack Size. Wildwood Wisp. Oil strong boxes. Oh, ambush of potency not worth anything. Okay, never mind. Sure, I thought it'd be worth something. Are these worth anything? No. Unique map will drop from the final boss or something. I'm just gonna go till I have basically no scarabs left in my inventory here. Okay, that's the selectiveness one. Anything? Region. Eight mod maps. I can take all. Edition. Uh, okay, yeah. Side, because they're working.
this is what we ended up with. Are any of these actually worth anything? Really don't want the expedition one. I don't think any of these are actually worth anything per se, but they're useful unlike the other ones which weren't. That chest can be and I don't want that. Fist monsters, magic pack size. Version can be good. Uh, Emesis can be good but not valuable. Duration is actually valuable. Perpetuation is not valuable. One more scarab. Oh, influence scarab of hordes. That's good. Well, I mean, I got a bunch of better scarabs. I was kind of hoping that I would get something that would be like spectacular, but eh. And you win some, you lose some. And honestly, I didn't lose anything. It's not like I paid for any of it, so... Pretty good. Definitely clears out all of the shit that I had in here, though. Still have so many dominations, too. I bought a bunch of them. Cheap. Reliquary Scarabs... Oh, they're really not worth anything. I'm just gonna give up on the Reliquary Scarabs. I'm not gonna use that many of them. I'm not going to use that many Nico Scarabs either. Unique map. Nation Scarab of Terror. Now, this is what I'm talking about. That's 19C. Or 18C. Runs an error guarded by an Atlas boss. And a June Scarab. Okay. I want to try that. Shrines are guarded by an Atlas boss. That sounds fun. I have a few of them, actually. I assume Atlas boss... What does Atlas boss mean, though? Because, like, I know what... A... I'm familiar with what a pinnacle boss is. I'm familiar with what a map boss is, but... Did they just say an Atlas boss instead of a random map boss, or...? I don't know, that's like actually kind of a weird phrasing. Okay, well, whatever. So, we have Sanctuary and Ziggurat left. I'm scared. Well, we should go in order. Okay, we are going to try Sanctuary. Try to die horrifically. I'm going to pause the music for a second, and I hope that I remember to turn it back on is when we start, because I just it's just too exciting for what we're doing right now. Just rolling maps is not incredibly exciting. No, not Union of Souls. I've learned better. I know better now. Players can't chain charges. That's useless to me. I, I don't want things to have crit multi. I need to suppress spell damage. No. No. Uh... I don't want unique bosses to have so much damage. Stop, stop increasing the, the boss damage. No. No, not Union of Souls. Why? Unique monsters have a random shrine buff. No, I, I can't do that. I just can't do that. That will cause problems. Well, this one actually looks not that bad. I'm Curse Immune, so the top three don't matter. Uh, I don't do the physical damage, so the top four don't matter. 
I don't deal chaos damage. The top five don't matter. I do elemental damage, so, I mean, that's annoying. I don't poison, bleed, or impale. I do rely on life recovery for survival, which is a problem. I don't have armor. I don't block. And volatile cores, I've learned how to deal with. Kind of. Okay, so I have... I have Scarab Stability to help me have more portals. What else should I add to this map? Oh, right, I turned off the... Uh... Yep. Back on. Uh, okay, so what does, this, what does this map have bonuses to? More Scarabs, more maps. Uh, more maps. Could I just give myself lots more maps, or what? Unique maps, an area corrupted with eight mods. That actually sounds kind of... Not very easy. Go for ambush to get more things. I can also just... No, I don't want to go for Domination, because Domination is really scary. Uh, I'll go for Strong Boxes. Give a chance for them to be openable again. Uh, give them a chance for them to be... And which... Passive Tree should I use that? Okay, this is my Exile Passive Tree, which actually has some Strongbox stuff on it. So some Shrines stuff, which I don't know if I actually like. For this. Not perfect. Okay. This is more meant for Tier 17 still. But it's also now got a bunch of Carpenter shit on it. That honestly... Yeah, I'm with the Harmonger shit for now. I mean, I have... I get so many... Not too... Good. I'll just move them over to Strong. Okay, Div card. On... Currency boxes... One second. I need to put this here because now I can just take out the. I don't actually need. Uh, do I have any more strongbox stuff on this thing? I can't remember. Oh, right down here. I have a few. Makings. They give us three extra passive trees, and I'm still struggling. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, right, take sulfite intoxication. Increase my chances. Eco. It's over. Nope, not that. Okay, put those back. Leaving just straight and narrow. And harvest for the harvest scarab. Then. I can take one scare one point from there. That point back. I ideally want to put that there. Here. I want one more point to give myself an extra oh there's cash.
Is there any of the stuff that I don't care about? I mean, I could just skip the Delirium Mirror, even if there is a mirror. Though it's unlike it's likely that I will have one, based on the fact that I'm blocking everything else. I'm gonna take Carbinger. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's good. So now this is just like mostly strong boxes. Now this is mostly strong boxes and explicit modifiers, quantity, a uh, little bit of smugglers, a little bit of Nico, and a little bit of a lot of Kirak. Okay, I can do that. That would be perfect for this. Okay, and I'm going to increase number. Can you add a smuggler cash? Yes, you can. I could actually remove all chances to get smugglers caches from my tree and then just take a guaranteed one every time. If the points would be better spent elsewhere, maybe. Well, for now, I'm going to pick a uh, strong box. Okay, we can do this. Tier 17, Sanctuary. We've got Abomination, Citadel, and Fortress down. Now we just need to try this one. And then this is the second last one. Okay, come to you by a Harbinger. Okay, that's scary. Um... Let's replace some stuff. Timeless. Oh, the boob demons are called shocking. Myth. Ash. Very low. Hope that I don't regret that. Hope desperately. Okay. Okay. Actually, wait, no. I want damage on the these, not on the gemlings. Okay. Let's just hope for the best. <laughs> I have frogs. I don't have any more frogs, do I? Aw. Get frog things. Okay, well... Year 17 Sanctuary. Let us go. Yes, no Forg, I'm sorry. Okay. This is the one that... Uh, this is... Um... Oops. Nope, need to turn on my automation. This is Lycia, Herald of the Scourge. Boss for this one. I do not have a huge amount of experience with the Herald. I have not done a huge amount of Sanctum. I did some last league, so I have some practice, but not a huge amount. I thought I was out of the way of that. I guess I was not out of the way of that. Oops. So I have some practice with with Lycia, but I don't really know much about her in general. That kind of scares me. Because she is a challenging boss. Oh gosh. Wait, why can't I regenerate?
No! Damn it! Okay. Okay, I need to use my decoy totem. Decoy totem. Put you down over there. Please go fight it and not me. Please go fight it and not me. It's ironic that after I took off all of my scarab, or all my uh, harbinger buffs, I suddenly got harbingers on everything. Thank you for coming, Huck. I missed you, baby. Oh gosh, those are very large. Those are very large harbinger rings, huh? I'm gonna put that over there. Okay. Lots of rares spawning and dying. Kinda scary. Kinda scary. Kind of scared. Ah. <laughs> uh. I should sell my blueprints. I don't, not like I'm using them. I need to keep moving around so I can definitely, definitely, definitely see what's happening. Because otherwise my fire tends to get in the way and I can't see when there are volatile cores coming at me and that's a problem. Also, that's why I deal with volatile cores is to walk through them. They have a slow enough explosion that it, you have more than enough time to walk even with, like, fairly low movement speed through them without being in danger. Okay, I'm gonna put my decoy totem over there. Put it over there. Okay, there was an exile over there. Weird when, like, the death everything goes, like, kind of muffled, uh, affects the exiles as well as you. Because then it's like, did I die? I mean, like, obviously I see myself moving around, I shouldn't think I died, but, like, when there's so much stuff happening, sometimes it's just hard for your brain to process basic things. Can you please? There we go. Like, way more than it should be. Wow, my life regen is sad. I'm throwing mines to keep up my life regen. Generate up to. I don't want to use any more flash charges. There we go. I'm I'm probably being too safe, but like. It's better to be too safe than not safe enough. Did you know that volatile cores, as they they are alive for longer, speed up? They move towards you even faster so they can catch you. And it's still totally possible to outrun them.
but it's harder. Also means that if you're trying to pay attention to the timing of them, it can make it a bit harder. Because you are, you're expecting them to move at a certain speed, and their speed is actually always increasing. Oh my gosh, so many volatile cores. It's because of the Harbingers. Like, the Harbingers spawn so many rare monsters that it's just flooding me with volatile cores instead of the normal few rares that I have in the map. Volatile cores aren't that dangerous if you are able to see them. And you have a clear chance to juke them. That is the way to, to counterplay them. They're honestly not dangerous at all in that case. But if you A, don't see them because of your skill effects, or B, don't have the ability to juke them, or just screw up juking them, then you can just die pretty, pretty much instantly. Sometimes I like to back up and then walk in a clear line through them so that I don't miss them and make sure that I do actually successfully get through them to the other side so that they blow up in a good spot. That is how I deal with... That's generally how I counterplay them. I also be careful because my skill locks me in place. When I'm using it. And I can action cancel in this game because this is a game, but yeah. It's still kind of scary sometimes. Oh my gosh, not being able to action cancel in games. I fucking hate that so much. It's one of my pet peeves. For those who are not familiar with what action canceling is, it basically means like once you start an attack. Um, like, I can throw mines and then immediately teleport away, and I can, can't, it will stop, if I, like, if I've thrown, but it's not fully completed, then it will stop the attack and just not throw it out and then move you. Do you have full control over where you're, like, when you're moving with your movement skills without being interrupted by your attacks? Generally, that's like that makes the game feel like really responsive and good to play. Oh my god, there's so much shit here! Stop! Why? There's so much! There's so much! I need to get some of these items off the ground because currently they're capable of blocking my view. And that means that I could be in danger from them, because a volatile core could slip behind them. Okay, uh, and core. And core. And core. I'm going to keep an eye on when the rares are done. Because that, that's one of the dangers of off-screening things, so killing them off-screen, is that I don't know when a rare is dying, and I have to make sure I can see through my attacks to be able to tell when I'm going to get hit with something, or like when a volatile core is going to be chasing. I, I'm going to retract what I said earlier about like games being bad if they don't have action cancelling. I hate those sort of games, but if you like those sort of games, that's great. All the power to you. I don't want to say other people's shit is bad just because I don't like it. 
I just, I find it incredibly frustrating and unpleasant to do. And I guess in real life, you wouldn't be able to action cancel, say. Like, if you throw a punch, your body's moving in that direction, but... But then again, like, if you have the ability to teleport backwards while, like, off balance from a punch, theoretically, you should be able to do that if you're able to cast that quickly. So, I don't know. It's complicated. When I get back to my hideout, I need to swap my Pantheon back to... I forgot to turn on the fucking music again! Damn it! I thought, because there's, there's a music... There's a, a song in uh, uh, Bastion called Pantheon. Uh, I need to remember to go swap my Pantheon when I get back into town. Because I don't have as much health flask as I would like right now. I can take Rislatha to boost my health flash charges, rather than taking Aberath, which I was using for Burning Ground, which there is none currently. Try this. Oh, Stream of Monsters, okay. Okay, I have to watch about watch out for that because there's the stream of volatile cores too. <laughs> that are in the way. Vision. Volatile core. Nope. Oh gosh. <laughs> Teleported into the mess of monsters. That was really not good. One thing I have noticed, though, going back to Volatile Cores again, it seems to be safest to walk through them rather than wait for them to get to you and then move, because you might not react in time if you wait for them to get to you, but if you're just walking straight through them, you're moving at a constant rate, so it's not about your reaction time. Ow. Okay, Pantheon. I need to be on Rislatha. Oh, we got some painted crumbs. I don't need that. I don't need that. I picked them up. Needed chromes are 9 CP right now. I will sell those later. Okay. Let's try not to die. Again. Again, again. Okay, it's really rough, but the <laughs> the strong boxes spawn rare monsters, and they also spawn packs from the map. And the most common pack from the map has harbingers, and that means that it will spawn at least one harbinger generally whenever you open the strong box. And because of that, each harbinger before it dies spawns at least five rares usually. So it's just this never-ending tower of turtle. I'm trying to... might not know what that means, but, like, there's a joke or a concept or whatever that 
Um, the entire world is on the back of a turtle, who's on the back of another turtle, who's on the back of another turtle, and it's just turtles all the way down. Just kind of cute. Or their core. Other core? Yeah. Well, it is scary having more rares and stuff. The Harbingers are giving me a lot more stuff to kill, which is nice. I mean, because the more stuff I kill, the more chances I have of getting something cool. And theoretically, there should be a lot of cool stuff that can drop from a map with this much quantity. Because this map has a 200% quantity. Well, Elf Blast are basically useless right now. Okay, got the decoy and damage. Drop, drop mines on the decoy. That's a good, uh, that's a good routine. Drop decoy, shoot mines at decoy. Oh, gosh, that doesn't ensure that they are going to be... Wait. What just happened? I think there's someone over here. No? For a second, I thought there was a Beyond Demon over there. I was really concerned. Also, why are my health flasks just not working? Oh! Players have 96% less l rate of life and uh, bleh, recovery rate. Oh, so that means that my life flask is basically useless. Right, because the effect goes up because of the increased... Oh, shit. In that case, I shouldn't be on Risloth at all. I should actually swap to someone different. And it might be better for me to make a granite flask to put here with regen per second. Because that might actually give me more life than the eternal life flask is currently giving me per second. Okay, that's a lot of creatures. That's a lot of volatile cores, too. Okay, I was running away because I thought there was a core there, and I wasn't sure. Okay, there's multiple cores now. That that Huck? Oh, that was Huck. Oh my gosh, I saw Huck running through through my flames. I'm like, no. He's a volatile core. Wow, this made the map so much longer, having Harbingers on it. Oh my gosh. I guess I'm not complaining. Like, I am getting a lot of value out of this map. I mean, like, I'm getting a lot of Scarabs and stuff.
My gosh. Heard all the towers on my way. Okay, there is a shrine up there. Really careful. For anyone who's not familiar with how shrines work in Path of Exile, when the shrine is there before you click on it, the monsters are getting the bu the buff effect of it. Once you click on it, you get the buff effect instead of them, and it follows you. Unlike them, who they only get the buff effect as long as they're in the radius of the shrine, while it's still a shrine, before you take the buff. I, I don't think a lot of people realize that shrines buff the enemy before they're picked up. Oh, wait, this is, this is, a di okay, this is one of the um, spell shrines that just causes a spell to trigger. Those do not buff anything. Because they're not a buff. And then when you pick them up, they just attack whatever's near you, basically. So many volatile cores. I wish we had a volatile core counter. I feel like that'd be fun. I wonder how long it will take to the point that we can get AI image recognition to be able to recognize things like a volatile core, be able to count it, increment a count, and also still not recount that same volatile core. He said something, Pyro. Read it in one second. Hey, Shitstain Steve reached depth 30,000. Oh, until they run to an invulnerable shrine, yeah. The, uh... Um... The, the divine... Yeah, the divine shrines are... A bit messy sometimes. Yeah, I guess you'll find out very quickly that, uh... The uh, shrines are definitely influencing them, because, yeah, you won't be able to kill anything. You won't be able to even deal damage. No idea what you're talking about, Ron. Unless you're listening to the music, and I don't... I'm not listening to the, to the lyrics, because... Brainful. No, not that. Oh, thank you, Pyro. That that is pretty good. Of course. Okay, oh, yeah, this is how many items are on the ground. <laughs> uh, 
And people were complaining when they when they called the bottom 20% of items. You're going to take away all the items that we don't see, that we don't use, that slow down our, our performance. How could you do that? How could you do things to help us? That is just so uncalled for. Okay, your your statement now makes a lot more sense. <laughs> I guess I might as well just use all of my flash charges each time, because it's barely going to make a dent anyways. I have to remember to trade with that person when I... Back. Okay. If y'all ever hear the music off... Uh, poke me or something. Like, just, just say anything in chat about it, and I will turn it back on, because I swear I am the worst at remembering. Like, I just don't hear whether it's on or off. Whatever reason. My brain just, just picks specific stimuli, and it's like, that stimuli no longer exists. Which is really useful in some scenarios, and really bad in certain other scenarios. I should not stand in a place where I can't see my character because I could get hit with a core. God, why is there more back here? I think I feel like it'd be fun to talk to Shitstain Steve. See what their their feelings on this game are. Because they obviously play a lot to get to depth thirty thousand. Like I I found it challenging to get to depth three hundred. And they're thirty thousand depths below where I got to. Like that took me so long to get there. It was like a really big conscious effort trying to get to depth 300. And I would like, I was dying. I was struggling so much back then. I mean, okay, my build was way worse back then than it is now, but like. Dell builds are, are special, anyways. They require certain. They require you to meet certain conditions, as far as I can tell. Like, you need to be able to move very, very, very quickly. And... As far as I know, for, like, the first little bit in Delve, you need to be, like, real... Uh... No! Damn it, I walked right back into that. I was too panicked. Ugh. Gosh darn it. Okay, so they want trauma code. It's gonna take me a moment to sell the the Ramako shamans because they're they're pretty expensive. By the average of the average person, yeah. I could technically use them too, but with the way that my uh, spell suppression is lucky thing works, adding more spell suppression won't actually help me a huge amount.
I got an eight percent spell or suppression while phasing. That's actually not bad. I can also prevent more spell damage. That's that's worth looking into eventually. I mean, I I hope to get more points soon to work with. Oh yeah, yeah, Pyro. I yeah, it's it's all at a certain like you have to be really tanky to start with. And then after, like, the very, very, like, beginning of Delve, uh, it's just, there isn't, to the best of my knowledge, there isn't a point in having defenses, really. Kind of just, uh, try to kill it. You just, you need to kill everything before you see it on screen. But I have, the concept I've been getting. If you don't kill it before it's on screen, then you're fucked. Oh shit, I should have swapped my flask while I was out. Oh well. Not much I can do about that. I need to use my decoy totem way more than I Make sure that I'm actually protecting myself, because I don't need everything to focus on me as much as it is. I can absolutely decoy way more. My decoy totem only has a four-second cooldown. It's not like it's a prohibitive cooldown. It usually takes more than four seconds for it to die. Unless I'm, like, in something that's, like, so far above my ability that... What was the... I don't know what was hitting me there. Unless I've been something so far above my ability that it's just... Pointless. I'm gonna have some useless screenshots from the map. Spamming my health flask. That's for sure. I thought I walked through that one. I almost walked back into that. I did walk back into that, but thankfully I, I moved fast enough. That was luck that I managed to get away from that. <laughs> what can I say? I am a lucky fuck. Nope. How long have I been in this map? I feel like I've been here for an hour. Oh, those are Azanath's chant? Look at those in a second. Whatever it is, it's considered valuable. I'm gonna back up for a second. Asna's gentle touch. Those are all pretty middling. Oh no, it's worth 10c still. Okay. Cool, I didn't know that was worth anything. I should try corrupting it, see if I can get something cool. Because I could potentially corrupt it for, like, max power charges or something, and that would be... Or max frenzy charges. That would be amazing. No, I didn't actually think of it before, but... Blah. But it occurs to me that you can't get power charges uh, as a corrupt implicit on gloves. You can only get frenzy charges. 
And you can only get max power charges on a helmet and none of the other charges. And you can only get max endurance charges on boots. I never actually thought about that before, but each, each periphery of your chest armor has its, its a charge associated with it. Okay. No! Burning ground! <laughs> okay, the next time that I die, I need to change my flask. And probably my mastery, too, because it, there's... My, my health flask is just not useful right now. Like, I'm spamming it because I have it, but I really don't need it. Because it's not doing anything. Oh no, Pale Virtue? Oh no, that's that's an angel. That means there's Pale Seraphim around here. That's not good. Hello, Pale Seraphim. Definitely not here to fuck up. I need to be so careful about my health right now, because I have no- I, I just don't have health regen, or a health flask, really. Effectively. The chance of me just killing myself really easily is high. Scare a monstrous lineage. That sounds cool. Oh. I don't think it matters what what you roll on a tier 17. It's going to be hard. Like Okay, let me phrase that. No matter what, you're going to have a hard map. There's just versions that are less awfully hard. I want just lineage just in magic pack size. Oh, fuck. I itemize it? Yeah, there we go. Okay, this is when I'm going to have the most health. While Gravekeeper's Boon is active. I need to make the most of right now. To get as much progress as I can while Gravekeeper's Boon is active, giving me health regen. I can regenerate, taking a little bit of damage. Okay, and we're out. Ooh. Okay. Down. Nope. Oh my gosh, I just had a moment of panic. Like, is the music on? Yes, it is still on. Okay. That's what I mean by, like, I'm not able to tell whether it's on or not. Like, like without conscious thought. Because, like, I enjoy it, but... My brain just kind of skips the stimuli. It's processing it. But I think is also some of the reason why I'm able to play Path as well as I am. Is because well, I mean, you can call this well. Uh just cause there's ow. Just cause I can cut out stimuli that isn't useful. Okay, we are going to make a granite flask now. Will hopefully keep us safe. 
Uh, I don't have a granite. I don't have a granite. Uh, there's a granite. Okay. What I need is I'm going to annul this right now. I need it to annul the freeze and chill. Fuck. Okay. Nope. Okay. Okay, good. I need it to annul the, the crit chance. Okay, good. Okay, that's good. I can work with that. 70% increased effect. Awesome. Okay. Cool. That's good. Okay, this is probably the best thing that I can do in ex in place of a health flask right now. I'm going to have nothing to recover my health though. Which is I mean, it's just I'm just going to have to hope. Or less. Not really much else I can do. Pop you in there. Okay. Man, I do not know how long I've been... How long this map has been taking. I hope the content's interesting, because otherwise this is going to be just a long, drawn-out thing. I'm not going to collect that yet. I try to wait till I'm actually in a bit in a bit of danger, like my health's actually low, before I collect that quartz. Oh my gosh, there's five volatile cores there. Okay, that's enough. Whoa! What is hitting me? Oh my god, there's so many of them. Holy shit! Okay, there should be more cores. Yep, there they are. Might be some more up here? Nope. When, so when you kill the min the minions of Harbingers, for anyone who's not familiar, uh, they take away from the Harbinger's health, and when you kill enough minions, the Harbinger dies. So if you kill a minion uh, of a Harbinger while there's still other minions active, and that Harbinger dies, it kills off all of the minions, which means that if it spawned like five rares, then... All of those rares are going to drop volatile cores, which will come after me immediately when the Harbinger dies. Safe? Yep, there's nothing here. Okay. I want to make sure that there's nothing hid hiding behind the pile of items. Oh, we spawned another Harbinger. <laughs> Gonna be here for a moment. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I think we spawned two more Harbingers, actually. Yep, go, go fight my decoy totem.
Okay, go fight my decoy totem. Don't scare of hemophilia. Merging portal rate. Okay. One second. Okay, we're going to keep going for a little while. We're going to finish up this map today. I want to make sure that's definitely finished. I want to see how well it goes. We won't be doing another map after this. This will probably be the end of the stream. And hopefully it ends with a bang, because I'm really, I'm really hoping to be able to kill Lycia here. So, this might be quite spectacular in a moment. Okay. So I got four portals left. I keep I seem to be doing pretty good on the coin flip of whether it'll use a portal or not, so still doing okay. Still go we're still going. Okay. So we're working up here. Yeah, I'm gonna try. Hopefully, we'll see Lycee in a second. Or we'll see the boss room in a second. Man, I still can't believe Fortress was so easy. Like, that... Like, uh, the, the boss, I mean. Fortress's boss, specifically. It just... That wasn't the type of challenge that I expected based on the other maps, because I've now fought all uh, five of the maps before, so I know kind of what their challenge levels are. Also, is it just me, or does life recovery rate not... Is life recovery rate not affecting percent regen. I feel like I'm regenerating at the roughly the same rate. Like as I would in another map. Maybe the percent overwrites the uh, maybe the percent overwrites the uh, changes cuz like it's it can't be anything else but the percent it's at. And maybe it's just whether your health is, your max health gets decreased, that matters. That would mean that can't regen maps could be dealt with by using percent regen. Is there such thing as percent regen of mana?
Also, I noticed that I every once in a while I get like a chunk of health regen, and I don't know where it's coming from. I took out the uh, ability for me to leech life from damage I've taken via my flask. That's all gone. So, I don't know what's going on there. Oh my gosh. Where is Lycia? She certainly has some big defenses up before her. Oh my gosh. Ah, uh, I'm low life. Help. Have I used an omen yet, this, this map? I haven't used it open yet, this map. Interesting. Okay. In that case... I need to go pick up an omen when I'm in my hideout next. To help me out. Genuinely, I might use my adrenaline omen. Like, if I get to low life, I gain adrenaline. Which is really useful because it's a big damage boost. Oh my gosh. I'm losing ground. I'm so happy Huck is here. If I didn't have Huck here, I would be doing so much worse. Wait a minute. I just thought of something. I have Zealotry on me. I can't trigger Zealotry's Create Consecrated Ground because I don't hit things. My mines hit things, which is the same reason why I don't take reflected damage. But if Huck triggers it by him hitting a rare, then he's going to trigger Consecrated Ground. If I stand on the Consecrated Ground, I get a 15%... or No, a 5% of my... Max life regeneration per second. So ideally I need him to hit stuff too. Oh, flask charges in exchange for want? Sure, I don't use flasks at the moment. I am currently using zero flasks. Wait a minute. Oh. This is leftmost. That means that I'm no longer getting my quartz flask and I'm getting the granite flask instead. Okay. Okay. Um. Hmm. Is that okay? I have enough resistances. 
Yeah, I should be fine like that. I'm gonna have to move my life flask so that I can do shit like this without interfering. So maybe what all of this is proving is that I need to just run armor. In addition to what I'm running currently. Because I didn't even notice the lack of phasing. So maybe it's not that important. Honestly, like, as long as I don't misplay, I seem to be okay. Like, I'm not getting bodied by anything at the, cur at the current time. Where did that term even come from, getting body? I think it comes from getting body slammed. I don't know. Does anyone else know the etymology? Wait, is it etymology or entomology? One of them's bugs. I think entomology is bugs. Etymology is words. I'm I'm a nerd. I like to know these things. I like I like etymology. I'm gonna say it's etymology. I like etymology. The word one. It's really cool to find out where words came from and why they exist. Also makes certain things frustrating when you hear people use words in a particular way that is. Traded differently the, a, this century than it used to be. In a way that has become negative to us. AK. That's just, just me being annoyed that, that the concept of swearing exists. That we're just not allowed to use certain words because that. I'm not talking about slurs. Slurs are, should never be allowed. They block... People actually want to block things that have absolutely no reason to be blocked. Anyways, I'll stop. I'm going to stop talking about that particular complicated issue. Oh god. Oh. Need to continue to use my decoy totem. I keep forgetting. Wow, that was a lot of... Ah! A lot of cores. So many cores. Wait, why can't I activate my flasks? Oh, I just can't use any utility flasks, even if they're not being affected by the mage blood. Okay. I was hoping that I could use my quartz flask manually. Okay, after... I don't know how fucking long I've been doing this for. After probably over an hour at this point being in this damn map, I think we actually might be getting close to Lycia. <laughs> I mean, there's only so much map in this map. Like, I have to be getting close. Like, like statistically, I have to be getting close. Hi, C4. We are currently in T-17 Fortress, uh, with 96% less recovery of life and energy shield, and 
somehow trying to find our way through, and we've been here, I think, for over an hour. At this point. Our, the most common spawn here has a Harbinger with it ev every time. So it's flooding me with rares, and all rares have volatile cores. So I'm kind of having a moment, you could say. Yep, there's another Harbinger. I hope they only spawned one this time with the strong box. No, 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 Oh, fuck. Oh, we got more, uh, another stability. Good. Okay. Grab those and put them here, because we got them this map. Okay. So, I should be looking for 84, yeah. Ooh, that's actually a pretty good flask. By the way, C4, I haven't seen you streaming in a while. I've been looking out to to like for your streams, and I haven't seen any pop up. I assume you're just busy or something, but uh, I'm looking forward to your next one. I hope I can catch it. I need to not die, please. What? I thought I was out of... I thought I was out of range. Oh, that sucks. Oh, there's a new Valve game? I did not know about that. I'm not very good at, like, keeping up with news of, like, anything. Oh, okay, so maybe there is a reason I don't know. Okay. Oh, cool. Half-Life 3 confirmed? And I've never played any of the Half-Life games, so I don't have any, like, particular care for it. I... I hear that that is the thing that people say. A MOBA? Oh. That... is interesting. That market already has quite a few... Ugh, fucking hell. That market already has quite a few kings in it. That would be kind of hard to get into. Oh, cool. Okay. That's fair. Wait, if they ask for you not to talk about it, then you probably shouldn't be talking about it right now, should you? <laughs> eh. 
any case, not like very many people watch me, so not like it's much of uh, anything. Where is the boss room? When did I start? When did I start playing this map? I'm like genuinely starting to get fatigued and it's making it harder for me to play and function. Because I've been on for so long now that well, I mean, it's hard to be on this long. This has taken significantly longer than the Union of Souls one I did last stream. Like, dramatically longer. Not being- having a health flask is really, really screwing me. Like, I currently don't have one just because, I mean, they don't work right now with 96% less regen. So... It's better for me to just have a have a utility flask in that case. I totally forgot that uh, increased explicit modifiers means that I just stuff like that is just undo just impossible to deal with. I don't know how I'm going to deal with Lycia like this. Okay, I'm going to leave the strong boxes alone for now. Oh god, there's so much stuff here. There's so much stuff here. No! Oh my god, that scared me. Okay. Bunch of cores. Finally, we exhausted that Harbinger. Looks like it's been pumping out just about everything it can. Okay, please, Lycia, I need to see you. I need to Lycia you. I need to see a Lycia about a horse. Wait, no, that means you have to pee, I think. I need to Lycia her about completion of this map. Oh my gosh. There's so much happening. Oh fuck, that's fire. Wow, oh, look at my health regen, it's abysmal. I can't even, like, stop and wait for it to regen, because I this isn't my own time. I want it to, like, get it done for the stream. Ah, oh, fuck. We're at 4 hours and 20 minutes. At least is that. I'm getting fatigued enough that, like, even dying doesn't bother me anymore. It's just, this is a long time to be in a tier 17. Like, I can play Path for, Path for a while, but this is, like, special. So it is certainly inoculating me to doing tier 17s regularly. Oh, it's a nice track. So the unseen ones from Hades.
I didn't even see that coming. Oh, okay, this might be our last portal. Please, please, let me at least see where the boss room is. I don't even know where the boss room is. Okay, I'm not clicking the strong boxes for now. Not clicking the essence either. Oh my gosh, for a split second I saw the boss room. Be really careful I don't get hit with a random or I can't see because that would be so easy to happen right now. Wait, just so the cores go towards the equi totem sometimes? Or am I just confused? Or can they just get hit? Can they hit the decoy? Hold on a second. Can they hit the decoy totem if it's in the path? I don't know. I wait too long to, to drop that totem to see. Oh god, that one just disappeared. That didn't even blow up. That's scary. Where did it go? Oh god. Okay. Long line of them. I think that means I just killed a harbinger. Yep, that was another harbinger down. Need to watch out for the Harbinger fire, because that's actually like the ground fire is actually really, really dangerous for me. So I need to make sure that the cores don't sneak up on me. Where the fuck did that core go? What the fuck? What hit me? Okay, that last death was not genuine. That, that was a bug, because I think I got killed by the Volatile Core, and the Volatile Core popped out of existence before that happened. And I'm not okay with that. <sighs> well, that is, that, that was a map. That, that was a map. Thank you all for coming today. I really do appreciate it. Thank you for s sitting through the long, long thing. I, yeah, it's just, it just, yeah. <laughs> that drained the hell out of me. Thank you all so much for for being here and supporting me. I appreciate it. Uh, I, uh, as I was saying at the start of the stream, I'm going to be moving the stream time back by 30 minutes from now on. Uh, so we'll be now 2.30 p.m. PST, 5.30 p.m. EST. We might move it later at some point, but we'll see. Uh, this stream will be up on at Black Hat's, at streams tomorrow, and we will be having a highlight come out on at Black Hat Studio as well. Next stream will be on Tuesday. I hope that you all have a great night, good luck, and have fun in the Atlas. Take care.